Well, well, well. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I bet you didn't expect this stream today, did you? So, what I'm going to do, first of all, is I'm going to move my mic as close to my uh, face as I possibly can do. Reason being is I'm uh, I'm streaming NA today. Now, I think some of you will be very, very upset to hear that I'll be doing predominantly 450s. So I'm just waiting to see kind of what the 450 heats look like. And I'll be doing one of the heats. So I'll then be doing a 250, well, probably 450 LCQ. But then I'll be doing 250 main and 450 main tonight. They needed a streamer at last minute. Um, so I actually need to slide in Wes's DMs and tell him which like heat races I want to be in. I'm just having a look to see who's in what servers. So let's have a little scroll. That was quickest. So if anybody was interested and curious as well, this is what qualifying looks like. Qualifying is just done. Uh, Jackson was at top with a 105.6. Hello, Cam. Uh, Skills was on a 106.2. And I'm going to be very, very biased. And I'm going to choose the one that's got the most DDC members in it because I actually joined the call literally ready to go to bed. And they was like, uh, can you stream? So I was like, yeah, go on then. Uh, so let me just message Wes. Say 450 heat one, please. I have tried. I've only had about 15 minutes, by the way, to have a look to see like what skins I can download. I'm also going to... Can I do it from this page or do I need to go elsewhere? I need to go elsewhere. I'm also just going to go and have a look at the champion standings because I have not been paying attention to uh, NA at all in this season. So let's go ARR6, FXR, Blitzco, NA450. Done. And scroll, 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 scroll. Points per round. Okay, so Skills is leading by... Let's have a look at this. Skills is leading here. 10 points over old Kigi Wigi. And then... Uh, wait, King got no points last round. Very interesting. Uh, then followed by Washed. Uh, Aiden in fourth. Didn't think he was that high up. He's got a little bit of breathing room both sides. Uh, followed by Rax, Jackson, Chicken, Chase, Dad Shoes, and Rider of Rider Racing. And then Reese is in P11 there as well, rounding out the top 11. Uh, Troy Janshin in 12th as well. You love to... S no, Troy Jan not in 12th. Somebody lied to me. Uh, I did. I downloaded Troy skins. I downloaded DDC skins. Um, I've downloaded, I think, Bluff City performance skins. There was I was very, very limited on what I could download. But you guys now... Wait, I had a 12 second. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Cam. Yeah, I saw that. I saw the big old choke ski. I was more annoyed at the start of EU because obviously I made all my mistakes in the first few laps. Uh, so I, like, first four laps were really, really bad, and I was about 33 seconds down. And then by the end of the race, I got it back down to, I think, 18 seconds. So if I wouldn't have made them mistakes at the start, it could have been good fun. could have been good racing. Um, I would like to apologise in advance, boys. The reason that you see me flying around this map right now in testing is because I don't do this very often. I'm probably not going to be very good at moving the camera around. I'm not the biggest fan of the race cameras as they come, so I'm probably going to do a lot of uh, like free riding stuff or just free roaming, and we'll, we'll see how it goes. If it's if it looks really really bad, then I'll just hit the quick like, what do we do? Is it auto? I think it's on auto these days. Yeah, camera set auto one or two. We'll we'll uh, we'll work it out as we go. So, uh, let's have a look. Oh, skills has also just sent me his skins. How big is it? Two hundred meg. That's fine. I can download that. Pretty darn quickly. How long is that going to take? 28 seconds. I'll uh, close the game and do that real quick, and then I'll hop into whichever server I need to go into. So, downloads. See how I've started downloading a bunch of people's skins here. Skills, drag and drop, WinRAR, Faboso, MX Bikes, don't care. Mods. Done. Oh. Done. 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 Lovely. Big dubskis. Uh, maybe a little bit too late, Doug. Let's have a look. How big's the file? It doesn't tell me how big the file is. That kind of sucks. Now, don't worry about it, boys. I mean... I don't know if this is going to be a common thing or if it's going to be like a, a one and done. But either way, I, I don't want to be the reason that the uh, the night is held up. So let me hop into 450 Heat 1 and it's working. Lovely stuff. 
Heat 2's faster, Heat 1 has more DDC idiots. Well, I'm going to go where the DDC idiots are then, boys. <clears throat> so, for the Racing Frena, you need to sign up in advance. Sign-ups usually open two or three days before the racing, and the qualifying started 32 minutes ago for that. So, uh, yeah, qualifying is done. Everyone's got their results in. They've been split out into their individual heats now. So I'm going to be spectating one out of them four heats. So 250-1-2, 450-1-2. Uh, once they're done, we go to LCQs. I, can't, I don't know off the top of my head if they run LCQs on top of each other or if they go back to back. We shall see. Uh, if they're on top of each other, I'll probably prioritise 450s as it seems like the, the premier class. And then I will uh, be doing 250 main and 450 main as well. Just realised, I am probably the worst gamer on the entire planet. I just joined as a racer. So I have a feeling that I may have just taken someone's gate pick. It, please let me know in advance, Alpha or Wes. I am so, so sorry because I don't do this usually and I completely forgot. Please let me know if that's going to give someone like a, a bad gate or a jump start. If, or if the server needs to go down and up again. I do apologise. I will rejoin a spectator if it's all okay to do so. Just rejoin. Lovely. Let's get in there. Just realised I miss you, Linda. You did indeed, actually, air. I didn't see you at all. If it helps, I miss you too. Turn the fan on as well. Um, I would like to apologise that I, I'm not going to be able to get as like as animated as I was, as I would like to during this in terms of like if something wild happens, I can't be shouting and screaming because it is 1:30 a.m. So it'll be quite a chilled stream. I mean, I'll try and cover as much as I can. I'll try not to just watch. Um, watch the leaders the entire time. I'll have a look at the leaderboards to see where the battles are, and we'll, uh, we shall go from there. Right. First things first, I'm going to go into the old free roam, and I need to get the habit of this. So if I press space, it gets rid of that, press tab, it brings up scoreboard, press forward slash on my keyboard, and it should bring up the rider's names when I get close to them. It does indeed. Lovely stuff. I've got my zoom in and out on my controller. I've got my go up and down on my controller as well. We'll see how it goes. Doesn't feel right, but I'm down for it. I apologise, boys. I know that I am not your usual uh, usual channel that you get this on. Uh, I don't know the reasons why the, the usual people can't stream today, but you have got yours truly. So we'll see how it goes. We've got the two fills, boys, right here. Oh, look at the camera work. Look at the camera work, boys. You'd love to see it. Does this count as riding on the track? Not too sure. Anyway. <clears throat> Are you peeing on an NA stream? That's true. I didn't even think of that. Would it? Is it going to be as bad if I'm spectating? Surely, surely it won't be too terrible. I mean, it looks quite smooth here. I know that the riders are only moving around quite slowly right now, but... Yeah, so far, so good. <laughs> Should we have a little bit of a trip into the pits? See what the boys are doing in here. Everyone's all lined up. Got oh, quite a few, quite a few dookies in here, which is nice to see. Got Troy's. Uh, I've, I've, I've generally, I've never seen this skin before. I just downloaded it for this. That is very, very bright and in your face. dollars and ninety nine. Thank you very much, AJ. Right crypto. Thank you. Gonna try my first race here soon. Congrats on your top Thank five. Thank you, Alpha. Earlier. Thanks for letting me know. Still a great race to watch. I appreciate know. you. I still I still enjoyed it, even if... Wait, is it? Why else this happened then? Alright, they're hacking. They're cheating. They're floating. These ones are normal. What's going on back here? Okay. Um, We need to hit a cheeky report button on Dad Shoes. He's cheating. Confirmed. Uh, Not staggering LCQs both at the same time. No worries. I'll probably prioritise the, uh, the 450 ones then. Also, I wish this was a little bit more see-through. Because I don't want to have it off completely, but I also I don't want it to be as, as dark as it is, if that makes sense. Oh, well, we'll leave it there for now. I have just changed my controller, like my button layout for this, by the way. So usually, I zoom in and out with my left trigger, right trigger, and I go up and down with right bumper, left bumper. But... Now I've changed it to analog so I can do it like smoothly and slowly rise up and slowly go down. Here we go, boys. All of our riders are loading in. I 
probably should be turning my graphic settings up a little bit so the bandwidth I can see everybody on the start gate. <clears throat> I can see everybody on the start gate at once, but we'll see how it goes. So here we go. Heat number one. Your boy's first actual commentary for Ariel. God, this is a little bit a little bit sketchy, isn't it? Right, we have got I can't even read the name, they're all on top of each other. Anyway. Who's gonna get the whole shot? Who do you reckon it's gonna be? Actually, we'll zoom all the way out. All the way out. Who's going to get that important start? It's a much slipperier start today. It's looking like Splash is going to get it. And he has indeed followed by a hell of a lot of Yamahas. Holy moly, when did Yamahas become the new meta? Lots of carnage. Chicken down in turn one. Of course, the Aussie ping doing him a little bit dirty there. Uh, we've got Dirty N going down the start. Just absolutely carnage at the back of the pack here. Nobody like down too horrendous, although you could argue Red is in uh, in a bit of trouble right here. So, coming out with lead, we've got Splash, followed by Rags. Everybody having X's in the end of the name, followed by Jack and followed by Aid and then Nate and Chakes and Jad uh, The old Troy Jan chilling back here as well. He's sitting in a P10 right now. We've got some, uh, got some Splash fans in the chat as well. Love to see it. He's getting hella sketchy through the whoops. Did he go down? No, he has survived. Right, what I want to do also... Let's see if we can do this on the flyer. Let's go to auto cameras. Let's see how this goes as well. Your old chicken is down in the absolute bin right now, sitting in basically last place. Let's go forward to the lead. Not too much drama going on. Remember that these riders are looking to get inside the top nine in this heat race to find their way through to the main event. Try and avoid that LCQ. And then any riders from 10th all the way through to 22nd will be going straight through to that LCQ. Somebody just got hella sketchy back there. Was that Marco? Lots of carnage going on back here. I get lots of Yamahas. One, two, three, four, five, six Yamahas in this race. That is pretty nutty. But lots of jostling for position going on back here towards the back of the pack. Now the front nine or so, a little bit spread out. Troy Jan here is in our last transfer spot. Again, ooh, how's he brought that one back? Uh, he has got a nice little cushion here over P10, who is a dirty end. I have a feeling there might be some cuts come into play. Troy Jan deciding to hit the Linz line through the whoop-de-doos. Taking inspiration from the uh, from the British YouTuber. You'd love to see it. Uh, Chicken is still down horrendous right now. Back in P18. If he doesn't get a move on, he's only got four minutes left to go. Uh, I'm very, very surprised to still see Splash out in front. The replay is not wanting to watch him. Or Rax, or Speedy, or Nate, or Aiden, or Chase, or Troy. It's, it wants to watch Troy, that's fine. We'll go back. Nice little battle for P1. Less than a second between these two. I'm not sure if you boys are like legit or if you're uh, if you're memeing me right now with all the crypto stuff. I'm not um I'm not big in the crypto space, I'm I'm afraid, so I don't know who Oh my god, is Rex going for the big boy lines? Love to see it. Big triple. Triple again, he's just gonna end up doubling out towards the end of the rhythm. So the quad gains you a little bit of time at the start, but you do end up losing it slightly at the end. So I'm not actually sure which one ends up being faster. Chase jumping off the side of the track, Troy jumping his way through. I mean, it's nice to see that there is still some really good racing going on here. Nobody's too spread out right now. So Dirtien on the number 420 machine is in your final transfer spot in P9. He has got a, about a one second lead over Marco and surprised to see Jackson all the way back here too. Jackson usually right up there, a very, very good starter usually. Must have just got caught up in a little bit of carnage at the start. But he's going to make his way up the inside. Little bit of a naughty line there, jumping over the bow a little bit. We'll let, we'll let him off. We won't... Uh, won't bully him too hard for it. And he's now going to be looking to chase down Dirty N, who's sat in that last spot. See if he can make his way through to the main event. Very, very surprised to see uh, Splash still up here with Rax battling for P1. Uh, Splash a little bit sketchy, still rails it all the way around the outside. Rax trying to hold on for dear life. Let's go a little bit further back. There's so much going on back here. I mean, what? Dad shoes? check the internet right <laughs> you can see there's like half a second gap between absolutely everybody uh Gerbin chat is saying that aiden is going to win this aiden is currently sitting in p3 he is six seconds off the back of the lead so not a million miles by any means he can definitely uh definitely still get the job done i'm just going to increase my fov so i can see everything all the time uh, dad shoes is sitting in p4 right now just made the pass on nate uh, who is in fifth chase in sixth troy jan working his way up into p7 Dirty N in uh, P8, although, having a look at time and scoring, there's some cuts coming into play here, because people are not where uh, not where they should be, by the looks of it. 
Hope you boys are enjoying it so far. As I say, first time for me doing this, so it's going to be a little bit new. Who is that getting hella sketchy? Sorry, Dylan, your time has come to get on the main stage, unfortunately, for the wrong reasons. We've got a little bit of a, a battle going on back here as well. There's a, a four-way battle going on for P13 here between uh, 623, Red, Mason, and Davey. See all of them going at it. I can't see the fourth guy. I'm guessing that's Red off in the distance, or is that him there? Uh, chicken is... Uh, I don't know what Chicken's doing. Uh, we'll, we'll ignore him. We'll, we'll say commentator's curse. We won't look at him anymore. Let's go back up to the front. What's this looking like up here? We've got Dylan. He's not a lap down yet, so we're going to come up to the leaders over here. Splash still in the lead. So uh, Rax maybe making a mistake or two. Back down in P2. Aiden's slowly catching. He was six seconds down. It's now to 5.6. Uh, Dad shoes in P4. Nine and a half seconds behind. He might have some cuts there. Can't lie, though, because that does not look like a three-second gap between these two. Of course, uh, Time and Gate is updating every third of a lap, so you don't get the true picture until uh, much, much later, when you've made yourself look like an idiot. So uh, Splash is going to basically take two laps to go here. We've got 30 seconds plus a lap left to go in this main. Uh, 623 has uh, hit the Rage Quit button. Maybe he's going to uh, fancy his chances better in the LCQ. Aiden eating Dookie serves him right for trying to take those inside routes, the sneaky lines. The old Suzuki rider. He could have been born French. He takes all of them tricky little lines that the Frenchies like to do. Bit of a uh, European coming out of the American rider there. Damn, why have we got all the uh, why are all the EU boys still awake? We've got Tyler still awake, Cam still awake, everyone's still awake. Yeah, we've got Dad Shoes, Chase, Aiden. Tight little battle here for P3. Again, doesn't matter too much. It's just for gate position at the end of the day. Uh, Troy Jan is currently sat in P7. He has about four seconds over the uh, ninth place spot, so he's sitting pretty right now. Jackson, very, very surprised to see him still out of it at very, very good timing. By the looks of it, if he doesn't pull it together, we might be seeing a... That is a very interesting track entry. That's probably going to be a lot of cuts there as well. Uh, probably going to see him in the LCQ, unfortunately. Uh, let's go on board with uh, Splash here. I feel like we've not given the leaders too much love throughout this. He gets the white flag. Look at this handsome chap right here. Mwah. Anyway, right, let's follow, uh, let's follow Splash around on this last lap. Can Rax catch up is the question. He is at one mistake behind, 2.1 seconds. The gap does look smaller than that. I really need to stop running through that invisible plane with collisions so it doesn't teleport me up in the air. Uh, but very, very solid riding. I'm surprised to see as well, nobody's got into lappers in this race. The general pace of the field looking quite good. The gap between first place and last place right now only sat at a minute and six seconds. And uh, I mean, to be fair, if you take myself in outdoors... I finish in a minute and a half behind on a regular basis, so these boys are absolutely flying. Rax still hitting the quad in consistently there, which is actually pretty disgusting. I wonder if he's just going to try pushing this and go for the win. It doesn't matter if he crashes, I oh, did crash as well. That's very unfortunate. So he had a big uh, big 10 second lead over the rest of the field. Aiden is uh, not having the best luck as well. He spawned facing the wrong way, which is going to cause him a hell of a lot of time. But fortunately for him, Chase has also had a little issue going through this rhythm section here. If we zoom all the way over... There is our race leader. He's been leading from flag to flag, I think, the entire way. Very, very smooth racing on a very slippery circuit here. Dylan can't be bothered doing another lap. He lets him get it. So there you go. Splash takes your number one spot here. Uh, followed by Rex, who's uh, struggling to get going just a little bit. He's getting a little bit on the slippery side. Uh, we've then got Aiden in P3, Chase P4, and Dadshu is in P5. I wonder if there's going to be any cuts coming into play here. It's a drag race to the finish line. Aiden will get it, followed by Chase. That she was coming in, no cuts coming into play there at all. And Troy Jen coming home in a P6, a very, very solid ride from the boy. Uh, we've then got Peasy crossing the line in P7. Dirty and trying to get across the line. Did he get it? He did get it, and Jackson also got it off of cuts. Red had a lot of cuts there at the end, which caused him to uh, lose a spot. He had three seconds. So there you go. It, it all comes down to the wire. I did not think that Jackson was going to be able to pull that back. He was down horrendous on the second to last lap there. Uh, Marco not making it through. Chicken not making it through. So we're going to have a couple of very, very fast people go into the LCQ. Very unfortunate for them. Very enjoyable for us. We should have a very exciting LCQ race. EU is full of vampires. You are indeed correct. We all stay up very, very late. There you go. That was a very good race. Let's have a little look. Who had the fastest lap? Uh, Rax running a 107.5 in the heat race. That is very, very impressive. Um, I feel like you want to be around the 108-ish mark, just based off of EU times earlier today, if you want any chance of getting the dubskis tonight. I'm sure that uh, people in the other heat, they might have gone a bit faster. There were skills in there, for example. I have no idea who made it through and who didn't make it through in heat race number two. So we'll have a look to see what this uh, this LCQ is going to bring.
and I will sit here like a patient, <laughs> like a, a cheeky little patient streamer, and I'll wait to be told what to do and where to go. <clears throat> Actually, should I channel my, um, let me channel my inner Kellen, just whilst they're getting LCQs and stuff ready. He usually rides around the track a little bit, doesn't he, while he's uh, spectating? <clears throat> you sleep well, Callum. We'll see how, hopefully you get some good sleep there, buddy. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Yeah, let's spin some laps, no pressure or anything, you know? Oh. Yeah, it's slippery. Don't usually see uh, Narvo or Sword take into the track themselves. So you see all them boys running 107s, 108s in their uh, heat races. That's my fastest lap on the track overall. So you can see how much the speed of the track, or the speed of the players really, increases from EU to NA. And that's just the difference between playing on the track for about an hour compared to having it for five hours. Now, I'm well aware that not all of the NA players will be playing the track for uh, five hours straight from release through to the race, but it's a nice little uh, nice little window for people to practice and work out all the uh, the fast lines around the track. There's no more uh, there's no more guessing when it comes to the NA races. It is everybody knows the fast lines, and they are what they are. I think Marco needs to book another coaching session with me, <laughs> or or is the reason that he didn't make it because he booked a session with me? Could it be reverse? Could I be making people worse at the game? We shall see. Personally, a big fan of jumping through the whoops here. Only because I have no idea how to skim them. It seems like a lot of the really, really fast guys are hitting a little bit of a tire tap, wheeling through them. Uh, but I am not good enough to do that, so I will stick to my, my Cooper Webb techniques. Here's a very fun track here at old Glendale. I'm very happy that Stone Rider went to the soil route rather than soft soil. And I think people complain about it at first because they're not used to it. And then once they've spun a handful of laps, you you get into the general flow, you're a bit more gentle on the throttle and the brake and the lean-in, and you start being smooth, flowing around the track. And I was quite surprised to see, in EU and as well as NA, what I just saw, you don't really see too many people crashing from sliding out, it's more so this rhythm section that I'm coming up to now, it's catching a lot of people out, especially yours truly, in the uh, EU main event. Get up and over this, and ya yeet. This. You're setting, uh, yes, I will change my setting before we go into the next one, actually. Thank you. Very good shout. Although, if it's on high, I don't really plan on changing it to very high, because I don't want it to lag really, really badly. If it's on medium, then I'll change it to high. We'll see how it goes. I'm on a good lap right now. This isn't what I'm meant to be doing. I'm meant to just be streaming. Probably raging at me. They're saying, LCQ servers are up. Get in there now. We're waiting on you. Got heaters to run. Oh, yeet. Was that 108.2? 108.2. So uh, take that lap time I just did there. Um, take two and a half seconds off, and that was your fastest qualifying in an in, in A. Don't know where they get two and a half seconds from. There you go. It was there. Uh, let me message. Where's 450 LCQ? Nice. I probably um, I'm probably bad luck to be fair, since I don't do this usually. Do some track building. I'm not working on any projects at the moment, unfortunately. Actually, no, that is a lie. I'm working on one project. Uh, I can actually show you it in game. It looks terrible, by the way, because I've just done a base texture on it and that's it. Um, it is a track that I made on Sim back in the day, and I thought it'd be a good idea just to convert it over. You did indeed see that, Matty. Uh, I think I had the speed tire there. I just messed up far too many times on the opening laps in EU. It was unfortunate. Still had fun though. Track was um, track was good. I enjoyed it. Right, so you're not going to be able to make out much here, and it loads in really, really slowly. But if anyone's been a very, very old lens viewer, or if you played Sim back in the day, you might kind of know what we're working with here. I had no idea why the ruts don't load in until I get anywhere near them. Uh, but this was a track that I made on Sim, but I'm just trying to convert over now. I don't know if I'll ever get to the point of releasing it, because it does need a lot of work to be very MX Bikes friendly. Uh, but the base of it's pretty good. I'd probably just have to resurface the jumps and maybe reshape some of the ruts. Um, but it actually flows quite nice. I had a nice little triple step up here, get this uphill off camber, flying down this corner. You can get pretty damn steezy off the face of this table too. 
And it's not a terrible track by any means, but it's definitely not up to like modern modern standards. Right. I've been summoned, boys. LCQs are up. Let's get in there. I am also well aware that I don't have as much of a polished stream as the uh, the big streamers do. I haven't got like my overlays and my like intermission videos that I, I put up. I don't think I'd be able to, to be fair. I'd probably get copyrighted on the old YouTubes, and we don't want that. <clears throat> oh, what a time. Girlfriend's texting me as well. Five hours deep into MX Bikes, thanks for stumbling on your channel and having so much fun. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Sergin. Welcome. Welcome to uh, a painful experience. If I... No, my bandwidth is on high. I don't know if I really want to change that to very high. I feel like I'll leave it. I'm a little bit scared. I don't know if it'll mess up like my uh, my settings or anything like that. <laughs> Uh, to book a, any coaching sessions, go on to mxb-coach.com. There's a whole bunch of people on there that you can book training sessions with. Do, 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 do. Right, so... Wow. That is an incredibly stacked LCQ. We have got uh, Chris Casanova Young. We have got Rider of Reaper Dock Factory, Rider Racing, FXR Racing, Rider Racing, Rider. We have got Chicken of DDC, and then we have got Marco Garco of Phils. We've also got Panda in here as well. Um, I mean, looking at the other people, I, a lot of them don't stand out to me. Obviously, I'm not too involved in the NA scene anymore, uh, so that is just me. Oh, here we go. They'll practice start on board with old Chris. That's that's the NA throttle control we like to see. I know he's probably memeing, and he just held it wide open, but that's quite funny. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on here? What's going on here? Black flag him. Get him off the track. Ban him. Get him gone. Illegal activity. Illegal. Get rid of him. Caught in 4K. Actually, 2K. Caught in 2K quality. Outrageous behaviour by Panda. Let's have a little fly into our paddock. See what the boys are doing in here as well. What's going on behind the curtain? Got Razzles of State Line. Here you go. This is the, uh, the man who's been to a couple of LCQs, I think, so far this season. Not sure how he keeps doing it. I mean, actually, I know exactly how he keeps doing it. That's how he keeps doing it. <laughs> now I couldn't, could not imagine trying to play on that pink, you know, going in first turns on uh, on Supercross. Uh, I'm not allowed to race tonight, Prezus. I compete in the European Championship, and these series are locked, so you can do one and not the other. So I have been substituted in tonight to get a little bit of uh, commentary going on. So lining up here, we have got Chris Young. How do how do they do this? Can't see anyone's name. There we go. We've got Chris Young, we have got Mark. Oh, hang up. <coughs> Try again. We've got Chris Young, we've got Ryder, we have got Marco, we have got Speedy, we have got Red, we've got Nate, and can't be bothered anymore. Right. We do have a full gate, though, which is what you love to see. Now, the question is all of these fast boys, will they be getting around turn one clean? Is the question. 15 second board is out. We sit and we wait. The second board goes sideways. Who's it going to be? Insider report, Marco is locked up for shaft lifting. That is not very good. Who do I think is going to win this one right here? Probably Cass. Probably Casanova. I'd say in terms of raw speed, he's probably the fastest one on the uh, gate right now. There is some carnage going on in turn one. Marco getting the whole shot, followed by Panda, Nate, and Ryguy. Who was down? I saw a... Oh, it's Speedy that was down. So I saw a Husky go absolutely flying. Where is everyone's favourite Australian? There he is, he's surviving a bit of carnage. No, he doesn't. I think he tried getting over pork chop down horrendous there. And in these LCQs, you only have five minutes. Five minutes plus a lap is all you have to get the job done. Top four is what you were after. We have got Marco. Chris going up the inside of Marco. Marco very heads up riding. Could have been the third person coming in handy there. A little bit of lag, we'll ignore that. We'll pretend it never happened. So we have got uh, Chris Young, followed by Marco, followed by Panda, Ryder, Ryguy, Red. Pran, Razzles, Andrew, Nate, 623, Porkchop, Davey, Wicked, I'm running out of breath, Spud, Speedy, Andy Pax, Chicken, <laughs> Mason, A, how many people are in this race? Jesus Christ. Doug and Dylan rounding out your top 22. 
There you go. I told you, boys. The bets are on. The bets are correct. Okay, look how tight all this is. Jesus Christ. Very, very close racing going on here. Again, top four is what you need. Big dive to the inside from Rai Guy there. Panda squaring him up, taking control of that last transfer spot. He's now in P4. Can't be that close. It is red going over the berm. I'm not sure if that was self-inflicted or if he got a little bit of a love tap going on there. Let's work our way forwards a little bit more. Nate again, absolutely steezy. Marco. No, Mr. Garkus. After getting the whole shot, there's a chance he might not make it through this LCQ. Really not a fan of that invisible barrier, putting my camera higher than it should be. Because my camera control is already terrible. There you go. Casanova pulling out just a slight lead right now. Nothing crazy. One crash is all it would take to uh, get him down back into P2. Uh, but Ryder, again, another person you do not expect to see in these LCQs. Same as Panda. Uh, Nate here, doing a very, very good job sitting there in P4. We've then got Marco in P5, so still salvageable. We can still get back in there. And look how many positions there are up for grabs here. I mean, if you're a rider like Chicken, the OG, the veteran, you're looking at all these riders in front and your bum was just got to be getting a little bit tense. You have to be very, very lucky in Supercross. When there's this many people in front of you, you need to pray you don't get hit by a stray bike. There's a combination of many, many things. It is skill. It's luck. It's all of the above. It's the camera being moved automatically again by itself. Okay, Ryder closing the gap a little bit on old uh, old Chris Young here. Some alternating rhythms as well. No, no, same rhythms. Everybody just choosing to go triple, triple, triple. Oh, Cass is getting a little bit sketchy at the end of the section. Ryder closing up even more. Uh, Nate is your P4 position right there, and he's got a good amount of breathing room on P5. Uh, Marco is about six seconds behind right now. Chris Young is indeed Casanova, you are correct. Uh, I would also apologise, you guys will see that basically everybody is sat down on your screens right now. I can promise you that they are not sat down everywhere, but ever since I downloaded the Supermoto, uh, I think, animation replacements, uh, my stuff has been hella boofed. So everyone stays sat down, and when they crash, they decide to stand there and do a little bit of a stanky leg. Nothing I can do about that, I'm afraid. So, here we go. Panda, Ryder, what? Not intentional. I feel like both riders could have avoided that a little bit. Mm, don't know. Race an instant. Don't blame anybody there. That is going to give Garko a nice little uh, chance to come back here. So now we've got Panda taking the lead, followed by Ryder. Working our way back, we've got Casanova in P3. And Marco's moved his way into P4, so here we go. This is the battle for the last transfer spot right here. And we've got a minute plus one lap to go. It's probably going to be about three laps left in total. Some ping in play that one as well. You are 100% correct. I don't think anyone can really be blamed for that. If it goes down to the uh, down to the reports afterwards, I feel like that is uh, just a racing incident. Who? Casanova's bike has just gone absolutely flying. I don't blame him for rejoining where he did. A bit of an L track re-entry. He has actually screwed Nate over horrendously there. That could be worth a little bit of a warning. Um, but he's going to get so many cuts. So we'll see if uh, if it's enough cuts for Nate to come back. I actually feel a little bit sorry for him with that track entry there. Oh, he's getting sketchy in the whoops. How has he survived there? Thank you so Jones much, Joseph. More. Thank you very, very much. Greatly appreciated. Thank you, as always, for being so generous. So this has shook things up very, very quickly. And actually, would you look at that? If we look over on the left-hand side of our screen, Mr. Chris Young's lap did not count. So I wonder what the, uh, what the, what the stewards are going to make of that one, if they're going to... Put him back in the spot. I mean, he did crash in the whoops here, and he rejoined here. He missed out an entire corner. I don't know if it'd be like a time penalty or losing out on positions, but that is a very tricky situation. I would not want to be the uh, the caller of that one. I'm sure there'll be some very unhappy people wherever decision is made. Um, so if we take them as they run, we're excluding Casanova from this. The actual battle is now on between Spuds and Nate for the final transfer spot. Oh, Nate's getting a little bit into some of these people here. He's had a rough race, rough go of it. Oh, people choosing to jump their way through the whoops. Love seeing that from Spuds, the old Linda line. These boys are going back and forth under each other. I don't know how Chicken has worked his way up into the even a chance of getting a transfer spot out of this, but he has now literally just moved his way up into an unofficial P4 with that pass going into the sand. Going into the last lap here, we got to stay on board. The boys out in front, they've been on stream plenty of times. This is the battle we want to see between Chicken and Nate. Who's going to bring it home? Chicken does have cuts by the looks of it. So he cannot settle. He does need to move up. And C Casanova has crashed again. 
Again, it doesn't really matter too much because he's out of the uh, out of the running right now. He's a lap behind. But this is going to come down to the absolute wire. Chicken making a mistake. Nate going up the inside and Chicken coming back. Getting into him. There is going to be some ping at play. That was a very aggressive move. It is also the very last lap of the race. And this man does need to try and pull out like a two second lead right now. So as he, he's thrown it away. He's thrown it away. No way he survived that. Oh my god, how has he hung on? Oh, and nobody wants to win it. Nobody wants to get the transfer spot. Spuds has crashed. All right, Chicken's alive. He's got a little bit of a gap there. I think he's got about a second after cuts come in. I have no idea how this man has managed to work his way through the pack. But if we come and watch the finish line here, they're already done. That is an uh, L-Stream moment. No, they're not. So Ryder is going to cross the line in P1, having a cheeky little look back at his buddy Panda. Panda crossing the line in P2, very closely, followed by Marco, who did indeed come back to a comfortable transfer spot at the end. And then how on earth has this man done this then? How has he done that? He was down absolutely horrendous at the start, comes back, claims a P4 on the very, very last lap, and I don't think cuts are even going to come into play. This man right here, I do feel sorry for Nate. He's had a hell of a race, that race. Getting bullied around the track multiple times. And unfortunately, comes home in P5. What a race. That was a really, really good LCQ. Again, some uh, some people came uh, had some casualties in that one. Some questionable track re-entries, some aggressive passes. It's all part of Supercross, baby. As I say, sometimes you do have to get a little bit lucky. And we'll go back to our standings here. The fastest lap was by... Your person who made it in at the very last lap, Chicken, made it in. He had the fastest lap time of the race on lap four, uh, followed by Panda, Marco, and Ryder. Let's have a look. I mean, classification penalty-wise, not too much going on here. Marco had... Is that Marco or is that Chicken? That's Chicken. Chicken had three seconds. Uh, a somehow had 16 seconds. Yeah, I do feel a little bit sorry for Nate. Right, Rightly so. That was... um, Yeah, that was... Uh, <laughs> Pran also not very happy there. Troy's in chat and racing. Uh, Troy, he's not racing right now. Oh, is, is Nate from Australia as well? I had no idea. Yeah, Troy's, um, Troy's done with his, his racing for now. So there you go. I mean, that was actually a... Why have I loaded this track? Wrong track. That was actually a really, really fun LCQ to watch. I can't believe how stacked it was. So I do feel a little bit sorry for him. He got a bit bullied there. Oh no, the phone is only on 3% battery. Let's put it on charge. There we go. Now we'll have just a short intermission here, where we're just going <laughs> to load up the track and test it and play it myself, because why not? Nothing else to do. We just have to sit and wait for the fourth, uh, 250 LCQ sorry, to finish now as well. So we've got a couple of minutes to kill. What do we reckon, boys? Who do we think is going to win the racing tonight in the 450 main? I have no idea who even races 250s in NA. I generally, I have not looked at a single 250 NA race since the start of the season. <coughs> also, remember, drink your H2O. Stay hydrated. Very, very important. No worries, Z2. Thank you for, uh, for watching anyway, my man. Oh, now we get to do a little bit of uh, a little bit of practicing myself. This is a good excuse to play the game more, isn't it? Get some more practice in. And if you haven't had the luxury of playing this track yet, one thing that can be quite deceiving is just how high the jumps send you. So if you over jump uh, one jump into the face of another a tiny bit. You get sent to the moon afterwards, so it's very, very easy to get out of a rhythm. You have to be super precise around here. This is probably the trickiest section on the track, just to be consistent on throughout the entire course of a race. No G fuel. Oh, I shouldn't be having G. What's the time? No. 2 a.m. Don't be having G fuel at 2 a.m., boys. Drink responsibly. I was going to say none of you would have a cup of coffee at 2 a.m., but some of you freaks probably do. Tiptoe. Do, do, do. <clears throat> I also would like to apologise because I don't believe I have anybody in 250 skins. Just ran a one away. Well done, Alex.
Listen, we all have our vices, Denver. We all have our ways of coping. Can you send my skins to me? Mm, nah. If I do it again, 100%, I'll go through and download a bunch more stuff. I'm not sure if this is a one-time thing for Narvo and Sword or if they're, like, done-done. But obviously, Narvo has uh, has a child to attend to these days. Uh, I don't know what Sword's up to. I have no idea. I don't stay too up-to-date. But yeah, if I'm, if I'm needed, I will be here. Unless, of course, it's the off-weekend where I'm uh, visiting the girlfriend. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on to her, buddy. <clears throat> yeah, I tried to download a couple of um, couple of skin packs. Uh, the issue that I had was the first one that I started downloading was the DDC skin pack, which is eight gigabytes. Mhm, mm eight gigabytes. That took like eight minutes itself to do, so it took quite a while, and I only had about fifteen minutes in total. I say probably not quite as hyped as some of the streams you've had in the past, boys. I do apologise. I do need to keep things at a certain volume, unfortunately. What I was thinking about this the other day is, uh, so I'll be moved out, hopefully in a couple of months at this point. Uh, still looking at places with the girlfriend as well. She can sleep through anything. Like, no joke, someone could probably break in and steal everything and she'd have no idea. She'd still be snoozing. Uh, so when the time comes, I will be able to do much later streams and at much more of a louder volume without fear of waking anybody up. So that is a big old W. Hello, Owen. Welcome to the stream. Let me just quickly do the old Discord check, make sure I'm not needing anywhere. I mean, Alpha will, um, Alpha will write a message in chat anywhere. Just let me know when I need to join the 250 main. We're making good progress, though. We've already done all, all qualities done, all the heat races are done, LCQs are finishing now, and then we just get to hop into the 250 main and then the 450 main. I believe it's going to be staggered. I don't know if I have to. Um, I don't know if I if I have to pick one, then I'll be doing four fifty anyway. I say it's it's fair if they do two fifties so that both classes get their stream time. I don't mind it when I'm commentating. When I'm the one playing, I want it to be not. I want it to be not staggered so it goes on quicker. <clears throat> if you made four fifty, but you're a hazard, should you let people go by? If anybody's lapping you, yes. If they're not lapping you and you're battling for position, then that position is all yours. You can stay in whatever line you want to stay in for as long as you want. It's only leaders that you have to let by. Other than that, you, you own every position on that track. These whoops are very, very brutal as well. That is correct, Cody. I am just commentating tonight. So I do the EU races. You're not allowed to race both EU and NA at the same time. But the NA boys needed a streamer tonight. I was available with a terrible sleep schedule, so I thought, why not? Why not hop in? Try the streaming life out for a little bit. Oh, Ryder, I absolutely love this traction. I didn't have the great race earlier, I only ended up in fourth. Um, but in terms of like speed and just how the track felt, and oh, I just had so much fun. It was really, really good fun. The thing that was messing me up the most all night was hitting that step on, step off, and then trying to get the triple after it. I'd either check up too much in case the triple, or I wouldn't check up enough and over jump here, and I just kept making silly mistakes. But yeah, I had a, a lot of fun. Gives me big beta 17 vibes. And surprisingly enough, in the heat race and the main event, they were two of my best starts of the entire season so far. Mm, yes, yeah, Cody, so... I'd done all my racing earlier, and then when you tuned in, I just decided to do one elimination race at the end of the stream, so you probably just missed it. 250 mains up. I've been summoned. Oh damn, I run a 108. I feel like 108, 109-ish is just like decent, consistent pace around this track now. I have been summoned 
Oh, this feels weird. When was the last time I joined a two, an NA250 main event? Thank you very much, Washed. Uh, to be fair, I was peer pressured into it. <laughs> I joined the DDC Discord about... Oh, when was it? I think five minutes into qualifying, I joined the DDC Discord. And there was a... <laughs> Stream it. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Because I was ready to go to bed. No worries, Alpha. Like I say, I have nothing else to do. I've not got... Well, I had set my alarm tomorrow. My alarm's set to go off in about seven hours. So by the time 2.50 and 4.50 is done, it'll probably be about six hours. So maybe I'll have a little bit of a lay-in. Right, who have we even got in this? Let's have a look. Only 18 people in so far. We have got Bredo. I think I might have downloaded some Solitude visual skins. Don't think I downloaded any Phil stuff. Uh, I actually think I might just have the proc skins and that's it. Yeah. Mm. So, if I told you that I have heard of less than half of the riders in this uh, group right here, that should kind of tell you how out of the loop I've been with 250s, especially 250 NA stuff recently. Right, so, question, it's always like how fast I want my camera to move. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. That'll be okay. And then we remove this, and I zoom in, and I can see people's names. Lovely stuff. Okay. We're good to go. <clears throat> Uh, Bredo's won three in a row and has a 16-point lead. That's very interesting that he's won three and he only has a 16-point lead. I'm guessing it's probably Bredo and Brock probably just going one and two every single round. Oh, I don't like the stuttering. I'm guessing it's loading people in as they're sinking to the server. So it'd be interesting to see what the 250 lines are around this track. I don't know if... I mean, they might be able to still be able to triple through the sand. Uh, I don't see any reason why they wouldn't be going step on, step off, triple, triple. Maybe they'll just... Oh, nah, they can probably still triple on here. I, I, genuinely, I think all the lines might be same as 450s. In terms of, like, race, normal race lines. We shall see. Bredo, Aston, one, two, three weeks in a row. Oh, okay. Was Ashton also on rider racing at one point or am i thinking of other people go travis hmm brady do be quick same but yeah okay same person <clears throat> <laughs> Yeah, you're not wrong. It is a little bit of a um, an orange orgy at the moment, isn't it? Hey, we've got two different bikes. We've got a Husky and we've got a Honda as well. Personally, big fan of the Honda. Genuinely prefer the Honda 250 over the KTM 250 and the tracks I've tried riding a 250 afterwards. Yeah. Names are outdated. Yeah, it'd be like that. It'd be like that. People don't, have, don't uh, join the right teams or the right names. Or if they just got like old old stuff. No idea. <clears throat> the question is, I see Brock chilling in chat right here as well. Will we get a cheeky little uh, Brock controller throw by the end of this race? Because they are some of my favourite clips to watch. I certainly can do. Alpha. And they are indeed. Everybody is in. 22 people. Everyone's ready to go. Yeah. Everybody's synced. Let's go dirt bike racing. I realise I've probably got I've got about a 20 second delay on my stream to be fair. <clears throat> right. Let's go boys. We've got our riders all lined up again. Can I see on this way? Oh, I can see on this way. So Flumsy's got the far inside gate. 
Brock is on at gate number two. Ashton is next to him. They still be doing a little bit of bar banging going into turn number one. We've got Larson, we've got Travis, we've got Whiffy, Jiffy, we've got Bolin, Brado, Lance, Jax. That's fine. Timelines transcend. Bra yeah, Braden, too many people. Oh my god. A take. Masty, Buddy, Coxie, Beeston, Burger, Niverson. That's it. I think that's everyone. Okay. Yeah, I hate that I can't see all 22 people on the line. I should probably turn it on to... Uh... Oh, here we go. Revs are up already. And the gates are... And the gates are... Down. Jesus Christ, that took a long time. Oh, Brock's got an amazing jump off the start. And it is going to be Brock indeed that holds the inside line. Never understood why one disappears on the start and then suddenly comes back in at the end. We'll find out who's in the lead by the end of the rhythm section, boys. I do apologise. Brock is absolutely gone. That man has zoomed out to the lead. So much carnage. Oh my god. Is that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10? About half of the pack has just uh, ended themselves there. No, 11, 12. About 13 people have just crashed in the middle. Love to see that. Uh, so yeah, after I downloaded some Solitude visual skins, I cannot see them. So I'm not sure what I downloaded. Maybe I downloaded a, um, a one-off military pack or something. So, Brock has got a very comfortable lead right now. Travis is in P2. Ashen in P3. So, there you go. Another one of the Barkers out in front. We've then got Transcend. No FXR bias or anything like that. Let's go Transcend. Love to see it. Uh, Bredo is currently sat in P numero... Where is he? Numero 5. P5 right now. So, we'll see if he can slowly work his way towards the front. This is great, by the way. The spectating netcode is so much better than when you're actually racing against them. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. <laughs> you hate to see it. Average average proboso moment. There we go. Buddy crosses the line in P22. Someone's got to do it. Unfortunately, it is him today. All right, let's work our way. Let's try and find any... Oh, my goodness. There's carnage everywhere. Oh, my God. Well done. Keep going. <laughs> this is actually chaos. How do people do this? How do people commentate over this casually and just be able to say everything? We do love a cheeky little proboso moment. How far is uh, Brock in the lead right now? Or has he choked? Oh, I think he's choked. He has choked. He's in P3. Okay, so Travis takes the lead right now. Followed by Ashen right on his booty cheeks. Are these boys tripling in? No, they're checking up. Going for a little little tap. I mean, some are going single-double. Some are going double-single. I think it works out pretty similar. Personally, I would like to be doubling into the corner. So I'm not jumping into a rut. That is just personal preference. Rado already making some moves as well. He's currently 6.1 seconds behind the lead. So we'll see how that gap changes throughout the course of the race as well. Uh, going back into P5, we've got a take, followed by Lance, Niverson, and Transcend. We've got Braden, LP, Bolin, Larson. Good to see Larson back racing as well. He took a break for quite some time. Flumsy, Burger. Oh my god, look at this gaggle of riders. Basically four riders here. Battling for the P15 spot. Make it five, actually. Oh, Massey, that's going to cause him so much time that he's going to have to double through this section rather than tripling. That is the issue that you have on some of these 250 machines, is if you do get a little bit out of rhythm, you are absolutely screwed trying to get back into the flow again. So we've now got Ashton has taken over the lead. I'm sorry that I missed the pass for the lead there. So we've got Ashton, Travis. We've then got Brock and Bredo. This is all starting to narrow up a little bit at the front. That does not look like a six-second lead from P1 to P4 interesting to see how that develops throughout the course of a race a little battle for p5 going on here between lance and a take some nice racing actually going back and forth inside outside i think stone rider's done quite a good job at making a couple of uh, even lines around this track so if you don't get into the main line and you do have to go one route over you don't lose too much time i think it goes really really well we got lins commentating before gta 6 you are indeed correct who would have funk it gta 6 has been delayed unfortunately oh my goodness here we go this is going to be a good battle so Travis must have hit a big old choke there. He's dropped down to P4. Look at this. Freeway battle for the lead. All on the KTMs. I'm not sure how much Red Bull are paying him. Ashton to the inside. Very good pass. Gets caught in the bowels. Free wide. Brado has to be very, very careful with here. Ashton, a little bit too much of an aggressive move. I'm afraid we are probably going to have to go back onto the Twitch stream and uh, see Brock's reaction to that pass. i say just a little bit, a little bit too aggressive here. We could probably get a cheeky little replay on it. There we go. We can indeed. We'll play it in slow motion. I mean, he did have the line. It probably looked like he had much more of a lead on his screen as well. So a little bit of netcode coming into play there. But the main benefactors out of that was Bredo and Travis now having a good little gap over the rest of them as well. Uh, Bredo and Travis now pulling away. Only, only half a second or so between those two. But then look at this. About 
seven or so seconds. Big old battle for P3 going on here. Now, unfortunately, Ashton and Brock have now dropped way, way back because of that little collision that they had there. <laughs> Bailey says it's over, boys. Bredo out of here. Bredo checking out GG's. Everyone's saying Bredo in chat. They've got the faith on him. Oh, you are indeed correct. What's he got? He does have cuts, though, so he's not actually in the lead right now in terms of time. In track position, yes. In time, no. That only looks to be about a second of cuts to me, if that's how they cross the finish line. So you never know, a mistake here or there, and Travis could definitely still get the job done. Uh, but by the sounds of things, Bredo has been by far the dominant force in this class this season. So you expect more of the same from him. And it looks like he has just got everything on point right now. Just scrubbing his way through the rhythm sections, hitting a cheeky little bit of Aussie ping, flying up into the air, you love to see it. We need to go a long way back here to P3. Still a little battle, battle going on here. Ashen got run a little bit high by Transcend. Not sure if that was intentional or if that's Transcend's normal line. Let's, uh, let's follow Larson, actually. He'll appreciate a little bit of stream time when he's not being shouted at by Troy. I see you, Troy. I see the I see the little back and forth that you two have each week. Right. Let's follow him. Third person rider as well. Absolute L gamer. Couldn't imagine playing third person on this game anymore. Cannot sit in a rut to save my life when I do it. But the whips look cool. So that is something a little bit different. So Larson chilling in P8 right there. He has a P6 basically right in front of him. Maybe even a P5 if Brock makes some more mistakes. Do feel a little bit sorry for Brock. He did get taken out, but I do think it was also a racing move. You can never trust the Proposo netcode too, too much. These boys back here, I mean, Bredo is putting out a little bit, maybe half a second or so each lap. He does have the theoretical lead now, overall, even after the cuts. So yeah, he's making a good amount of time back. Let's have a look. Have we got any good battles going on? I mean, this battle for P3 here is still quite spicy. Uh, Transcend has it on cuts right now. I think a take might have a second or two. Which is really, really good to see. The uh, an FXR rider up there. Uh, Brock is still sitting in P5. Ashton P6. Lance P7. Larson sat in that P8. Niverson in P9. LP in P10. Wiffy <laughs> Whiffy Jiffy. Getting tongue twisted. P11. Flumsy in P12. Uh, Beeston, Braden, all making mistakes, all getting cuts. It's all over the place right now, boys. We even got battles going all the way back to like P15 here. We've got Buddy versus Burger. Buddy having an absolutely awful moment earlier. We all saw him getting proposoed, but he's making a little bit of a charge now, coming back through the pack. Let's work our way. Just have a quick check-in with the uh, the front runners again. There's no way that just says Brock has taken the lead. No, I'm missing people. There we go. Right, Bredo is in the lead, followed by Travis. These two keeping a very, very similar distance to each other. If they can do this for the entire length of this race, that is going to be a photo finish, and I'm here for it. We have to go a long way back, about 15 seconds or so back to uh, this P3 battle that is still raging, although it is no longer a take versus transcend, it is Brock versus transcend, and he's made his way all the way back through up into the P3 position. After getting taken out, a little bit of a coming together with Ashton earlier, he has regrouped, he's remounted, he's back on the charge. Unfortunately, looking at the pace of the two front boys, that could be as far as he goes for the rest of this race, because these boys are long gone. Look at here, downside in the triple, these boys haven't even started the next rhythm section. So unless these two get together, or if they get into some lappers and get very unlucky, I don't see uh, Brock moving much further forwards than he is right now. Uh, however, we do still have battles going left, right and centre. Battle for P4 between Ashton and Transcend. Uh, battle for P6 between Larson and Lance. Battle for P8 between Niverson and Atake. Oh, Atake has dropped back quite a bit, making a few mistakes here. There's no way he hucks that. Fair play. I didn't know that 250 had that many ponies in her. I didn't, did not think he was getting over that. Yeah, take has dropped from, I think, P3, P4, all the way back into a P9 spot in literally the course of a lap. So an awful lap for a take there. Let's see if he can uh, remount, get a rhythm going, get a flow going, and see how that goes. Back up to the lead. Uh, Bredo and Travis still exactly neck and neck again. Absolutely insane. Travis is waiting for the best moment to destroy Bredo. It might have to come down to that, you know? I mean, last lap, anything goes. Robin is racing, as they say. I'm just very impressed by how consistently these boys are hitting these triples through these rhythms, especially on the 250s, where you have to get things pretty damn perfect. Uh, timed lines, unfortunately, the first person to get lapped in this race. We'll show him a little bit of love. He's still out here. He's still competing. He's still qualified. He's made the night show, so he deserves his love on stream as well. Uh, Brock's in here in P3. Again, he's still about 16, 17 seconds behind the lead. But then we've got a big old group of riders here going for that P4. Ashton making a little bit of a mistake. That's going to allow Larson and Lance to both catch up with him. So we could have a free rider battle here for the P4 spot going into the last five minutes of the race. 
Oh, Lance getting a good old scrub. Good drive through the whoops. Oh, he got into one of them. They both got into them. Larson has unfortunately eaten some dookie. And uh, that is going to allow Lance to slip into that number five position. Yeah, number five. Just making sure I'm correct. Going up to the front again. Bredo is now starting to pull away. And Travis has just tried to send it a little bit too fast. That is the issue. When you've got someone as fast as Bredo in front of you. And you're just losing like a tenth here, a tenth there. You just want to push that a little bit harder. And unfortunately... In a corner like this, combined with the soil, the traction that we have tonight, it's a recipe for disaster. That front end went, and that has now caused him an extra five or so seconds to drop back. So very, very unfortunate. Who it's not unfortunate for, though, is this guy. Looking to make it four in a row. Absolutely dominating the season right now. He has uh, now got a very comfortable six-second lead over Travis in P2. Uh, Brock's in a little bit of a lonely P3 right now. He's sitting 16 seconds off the lead. Then another 13 seconds in front of P4. These boys have been having a really, really good battle all race long for this P4 spot. Shout out Time Blinds right here as well. Doing a very, very good job of getting out of the way and being a good lapper. Give him a round of applause, please. Love seeing that from him. So let's work our way back a little bit. Oh, some carnage going on there. Ashen is down absolutely horrendous. It's okay, he's managed to get going again. Let's have a look. We've got any... I mean, there's a big old battle around the P9-ish area right now. Let's go and have a look over here. So we've got Ashton has fallen into Larson's grips. Transcend is just behind them. Niverson is just behind them. You see, there's kind of the same sort of gap between everybody on the track right now, whether it's three tenths, like a second. It's a small gap, but it's just enough to where there's no bar banging going on at all. Everyone's quite, quite consistent. Why well, I am interested to see, how's the road forming on this track for the 250s? Seems to be very, very light. I know in the EU 450 race earlier, this sand was just completely beaten up by the end of the race. And there was also a nasty little transition here between sand and soil. There was a little square edge bump. Not sure if you can see that too well right there. But she is forming. She is there. Uh, what are your thoughts on the track being soil instead of soft soil? Uh, does it make it more interesting? I think it makes it a lot more interesting. I am really happy that each track this year has had like their own unique characteristics, if that makes sense. Uh, I enjoyed it. Obviously, I'm a little bit biased because I really enjoyed the Beta 17 era of this game where the traction was a lot slipperier anyway. So it brings back some good memories of that. But I'm a big fan of it. I think it does a good job of trying to replicate some hard pack action. So big W from Stone Rider in my opinion there. Let's try and find our race leader. There he is. He's now boasting a comfortable 7.8 second lead out in front. Uh, Travis, he hung on for majority of the race. Unfortunately, that one little mistake has now caused him to fall back. We've got Brock chilling in P3 still. We do indeed. He's made another mistake or two. You can see just, just little bits here and there that just add up over the course of the race, which you hate to see. We've then got Lance in uh, P4. I should say Lance, actually. Well, I, I really don't know the cor correct American pronunciation of Lance. I apologise for my Britishness. Uh, Ashton is sat in P5. He did have a chance of getting the dub ski earlier. Came in a little bit too hot in this corner, combined with a little bit of Baboso netcode. And he now finds himself back in the P5 position. Love to see Larson up there. Rocking a P6 right now. Big W's from him. Uh, Travis is he's 10 seconds behind the league now. So unless he gets caught in lappers or anything like that, I'm pretty sure this is Bredo's race to lose. Uh, I mean, a, a take has uh, unfortunately hit a little bit of a choke button. He was up there battling for P4 for quite a long time. He's now dropped all the way back into P15, over a minute behind the leader. You hate to see that. Uh, having a look on the time and the score on the left-hand side, there's not actually too much going on right now. I think the best battle that we'll probably see any second is, uh, well, I was going to say with Larson and a few others, but unless Larson's just crashed, he has. Well, no, I think everyone must have crashed behind him. We've got a little battle going on back here. With, that's Flumsy. Who we got going on here? We've got Niverson and Transcend battling here. Again, Transcend was up in around the P4 area earlier on in this race. He's now sitting back in P7, having a battle with Niverson. Some good racing going on here, actually. I mean, majority of tonight, we've had some really, really good racing. Lots of close battles. I saw some people after the EU race saying that the track was really, really good for racing as well. And I kind of want to agree with it. I mean, personally, in my EU race, I did not get into one person. Nobody took each other out, at least around me at all. It was just nice, good, clean racing. And I'm not sure if he's made the ruts bigger this week or if the track's just wider. But it feels like you've got enough uh, enough room to operate in. It feels like the track's quite big. So we've got a minute left of this race. A minute plus... Ooh, I was going to say a minute plus one second. A minute plus one lap to go. Bredo is comfortably out in front. I think he's actually... 
going to get another two laps. We'll see if he can get to the finish line in time, but he generally he might have another two laps to go rather than just one lap to go. He's lapped all the way up to P13 now. He's lapped P13. His next person on his list is uh, Braden in P12. Travis, he's still sat about 10 and a half seconds. So when he's kept it up on two wheels, he's been he's matched uh, Bredo's pace very, very closely. Just one or two extra mistakes that Bredo does just not seem to make. Brock is sitting in his very lonely P3. Uh, P4 is Lance right there, not a million miles behind. So, you know, if Brock has a, a little bit of a getting together with someone, he could, could lose that spot. Ashton is very, very close to Lance, however. Larson in a very lonely P6. 10 seconds in front of him, 10 seconds behind him. However, the two riders that aren't lonely, they've been battling for a good amount of laps right now. Is uh, Nivison versus Transcend. You're widowily hitting the Gwiddy White now, as Ryder has uh, confirmed. And uh, oh, Transcend getting a little bit sketchy. He's keeping it on the track. He's still alive. He's still surviving. And let's see, did Bredo make it to the finish line in time? He did. So there's another two laps to go. Two laps, and that's all she wrote in the 250 class. My voice is almost completely gone, and we've still got an entire 450 main event to go. Why did I sign up for this? This was a terrible decision. It's 2.30 in the morning, and I should be sleeping right now. Let's have a look at the timing. we still got that Transcend versus Nivison battle going on. So where are they? They should be... Not here, they're behind Larson. Here they are. Look at these two, just matching each other, lap after lap. Mistake for mistake. Pace for pace. Even if it's not the positions that they would have liked to have at the end of this race, I guarantee they've got smiles on their faces from having a good battle back and forth with each other. You vibing? Love to hear that, Denver. I'm glad you boys are having a good time. Here we go. These boys have two laps left to go. God damn you. Invisible. <laughs> Invisible collisions. Oh. How has he rode away with that? Nivison has hit the 360 on the wrist. Unfortunately, it's going to cause him quite a lot of time. And we didn't have any idea. But Beeston has been slowly making a little bit of a, uh, a comeback here. Catching up on these two. So he's actually going to snatch P8 from Nivison. And he's got Transcend in his sights. So the question is, with one lap to go at the end of this... Will he be able to get the job done? Now, my question is, if I try and find Mr. Bredo and I try and go to a helmet camera... Oh, it does work. Love to see that. Here we go. Get an extremely laggy epilepsy field on board with uh, Mr. Bredo right here. God, I wish the replays on this game were much better than they were. And this is how you ride a 250 in this game to its uh, peak performance. Is helmet number two any better? No, it is not. Holy moly. Oh my goodness. Front fender. Oh my goodness. You know what? We'll go for the Barsha camera. Joking, that looks actually disgusting. There we go. Bredo's going to cross the line for his fourth win in a row. Actually disgusting. Had no idea he was being this dominant this season. But he is him right now. You love to see it. He's got a comfortable 12, almost 13 second lead over Travis. Travis put in a very, very good performance there. Just wasn't able to keep as consistent as he would have liked. He's going to cross the line in P2. Uh, a take, he was up there for a long time. He's going to finish in P13. Uh, people all coming over the line now. We should be seeing Brock cross the line next in P3, which we do indeed. And then what is going on behind this? We have got Ashton in... Oh, actually, is Ashton choked? Five dollars from Drive Switch. Where is... Get a podium and the lurker will grant more. No, Ashton, he crossed the line. I think I'd be an idiot. Anyway, Ashton in P4, Lance in P5. Uh, Larson should be the next one to cross the line in P6. He's about 20 seconds behind. A long, long gap. There you go. Larson crossing the line in P6. Uh, Transcend, is he going to hold on for that P7? He's been fighting for dear life the entire race. Uh, Niverson again, he's catch, catched up. That's not English, that's not proper. Caught up towards the end, and he's going to cross the line as well and get a cheeky P8. Generally think there was some really, really good racing throughout that entire race. A great battle at the front for a while. A little bit of carnage in the middle as well between Ashton and Brock. You'd love to see it. And uh, yeah, it sounds like the man of the hour, the man of the last four weeks, by the sounds of it, is Mr. Bredo, the man out of Australia, getting four wins in a row. You'd love to see it. You can do nothing but applaud. He put in a very solid performance. He didn't start in first. He had to work, work for it. He had to earn his way up there and then speed and consistency. Got him all the way through to the finish. So very, very good racing. And now, we get to leave this server and join the 450 server. Hope you guys have been enjoying this. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Swinch, as well. 
Uh, got a podium and the lurker will grant more. Uh, oh, that's a good point. Yeah, I, I actually need to get on the podium again. I've been choking recently. There was definitely a podium on the cards for me today, but uh, it was not meant to be, unfortunately. Congratulations, Bredo. Very solid racing. Very mistake free, which is very important on a track like this, as you are well aware. Hydration break. Remember, drink your water, have your H2O. Definitely not sponsored. <clears throat> well done, Transcend. I say you had a lot of camera time there. I say you, you was battling for P4 at one point. Very, very good racing. Uh, I finished in fourth earlier today, Kian. <clears throat> Official pro rider. Yeah, you're right. Oh, look at this. Everybody's already in here as well. You'd love to see it. There you go. Commentator Linz has joined. He's got the highest pin. No, he's almost got the highest pin in the lobby. Only being outbeaten by the Australian. You'd love to see that. So this is going to be... I did just see someone riding the track, didn't I, in the background. This is going to be a very, very stacked race. I'll, I'll, I'll read them from here, since I don't get them normally. We have got Skills, Reese, Ryder, Chicken, Rax, Marco, Dad Shoes, Washed, Austin, Panda, Keegan, Chase, Brax, Trojan, Jackson, Aiden, Coskates? I think. Coskates? Uh, PZ, Dirty N, EJ, Grey, and Splash. Or Splash X. I never know if it's covering up an H. No clue. But those are your 22 riders about to throw down in the 450 class. Uh, my thoughts on the track today, LP? I think it's a big old W. I had a massive skill issue in my race, but I still had a hell of a lot of fun. It was an extremely enjoyable night of racing for me. I think it raced very, very well, which is the most important thing. And let me get people's names on. There we go. And I hope you boys are enjoying the uh, the commentating so far. Again, very new for me, so I apologise if I'm missing or messing anything up. It is what it is. Uh, Cam is hitting us with the Where is Chris Casanova Young of Phil's racing team. He unfortunately did not make it through the LCQ. It was a very, very stacked... 450 here. <clears throat> yes, very true. I didn't even notice that. There's only, was it six riders with three digit numbers? Everybody else has uh, at least been around for a year or so to get their numbers. Uh, as you can see, I do not have many skins downloaded, but the ones we do have downloaded, they look, look very, very lovely. We've got Aiden's K Bell, we've got some of the DDC bikes, and we've got Choijan's bike here. And here we go, the revs are up. Who is going to get our whole shot of the night? Try and stay out of all the carnage. Very, very important around here. Aiden basically started in first gear, lent all the way forwards with the throttle wide open. He's spinning. Not what you expect for him. Washed and Splash. Splash getting very, very good starts today. Let's try and uh, zoom our way forwards. We'll hit him with the uh, the Daytona side camera where we go along with him. Uh, Splash did throw that lead away, unfortunately. Rax is up here again. The triple has again ruined my camera angle. So there you go. Rax dive into the inside, trying to protect that position. Even after his terrible jump, Aiden is somehow in P2. He must have done a very, very good job of sneak up the inside. Oh, getting into the side of Keegan. They're getting into each other through the whoops. Aiden being smart, taking the outside. Reese getting a very, very good start as well. Has been riddled with uh, just bad luck so far this year. The one good race that he had was at Detroit, I believe, where he finished in P2. Yeah, so love to see him up there. And then we've got Troy as well, up in P5. Jackson having a much better start to his main event. Oh, Reese is down. Speaking of that bad luck, there it is. Down at the end of the whoops, he's going to lose quite a few positions here, crashing on lap number one. He's going to slot back in behind Splash. Just in front of him is Dad Shoes. In front of him is PZ. Uh, Dirtien is in P6. Uh, Keegan is in P5. Jackson P4. Trojan in the big P3 right now. Who would have thunk it? The G Fuel Rider. Absolutely barking the virtual dirt course. Probably the, probably the brightest bike on the entire track right now, which you love to see. Aiden up in P2. The OG has been having a bit of a comeback season putting in some very very good performances recently he's got that suzuki absolutely dialed he never strayed from it stayed very consistent stayed on the bike the entire time others tried to copy him tried to imitate him may have got one win at arlington and then played really badly after that and never never, never rode it again <coughs> we'd ignore that chicken working his way through an absolutely massive pile up which is going to see troy go from about p3 all the way back until about p12 that could not have been at a worse time of the race Unless it was in the first corner. Uh, Cosgates, another uh, Suzuki rod. You'd love to see it. Chilling back here. Someone's got to be lost. 
it's going to be him. Uh, Chase here. I did download the Bluff City Performance skins as well, so I'm annoyed that I can't see them, but I know people's skins change throughout the season, and I probably downloaded the wrong thing anyway. After starting towards the front in P4 on lap 1, Reese now finds himself back here in P19 and getting a little bit sketchy as well. Let's show Rex. Got to show Rex some love. Lynn's in the booth tonight. Yes, I am indeed, Izzy. Hope you've been enjoying it. Troy doesn't know how to change kits in this game. It would seem to see ride the same thing every single week. I don't mind it. Makes my life easier. I need to download one thing. Here we go. Rex standing up around that flat corner, which is very, very interesting to see. Maybe channeling his inner fin, getting some lessons, getting some pointers. Jackson up into P3, so after his very stressful heat race, he's having a much more straightforward and much easier main event here. Keegan staying very, very low throughout that entire river. Messing up the rut a little bit, but you can see he made up a good couple of bike limps in that one section alone. Got some more battles going on up here. This is the first we've seen of skills this race, your red plate holder right now. Uh, leading by 10 points, I believe is so far. I apologise that I keep going through the stadium. There we go. The old skills technique, getting his little tyre tap going through the whoops. It works for him. That is probably the biggest number one I've ever seen on the back of someone's jersey. Goes up the inside of Panda. I hope Panda is of a consenting age, otherwise that is illegal in most countries. That chicken making his way through the whoops as well. Very, very clean setups from these DDC boys. Definitely not a biased opinion at all because I'm friends with them. Dad Shoes is chilling in P5. Chicken is in P number 6. Washed is sat just behind them in P7. Skills is in P8, looking to work his way forwards a little bit more. And as you can see from the timing on the left-hand side, everyone's just about half a second away from each other again. Some very close racing, always banging bars. Maybe this is just what NA's always like where the track's been out for a good couple of hours. People know the lines right now. They know where to go. They know where the fast time is. Rax getting hella sketchy. Making the most out of that uh, out of that Glendale soil. Got EJ of Blitzco sitting here in a cheeky P18. Let's, let's try and find the leader again. Where are we looking at? Here he is. Mr. Rax. P numero uno. Aiden seems to be gaining some time, actually. I'm not sure if he's going faster or if Rax is making some mistakes here, but if Aiden could get another dub ski, he would absolutely be over the moon, especially with your boy streaming it as well. You'd love to see it. Imagine he got a W and nobody was streaming it. Be very, very upset. I'm not sure how many races uh, Rax has won this year, but he seems to be a new lover of the Yamaha machine. Saw him and uh, Cam setting some world records on a track that I can't remember the name of, but starts with a W right now. And uh, yeah, going very, very fast. Aiden sat in P2. They have a actually big gap. Five minutes into the race, and they're already about six seconds ahead of the rest of the competition. So we've got Kiwi Wiggy. Yeah, no, we haven't. We've got Jackson. I misspoke. I apologise. Jackson in P3. Dad Shoes in P4. Keegan in P5. We've got uh, Not Chicken. Chicken has hit the choke button as well. So we've got Panda in P6. We've got Wash P7. Chicken P8. It's, uh, skills, it's late. My brain's gone. I'm sorry. Skills in P9. And Splash in P number 10. Troy Jan, unfortunately, that big mistake that he made in this rhythm section earlier this race has caused, has caused him a hell of a lot of time. Splash and Chicken getting into it. Not sure who was at fault there or if it was just a race incident. We will carry on flying around the track as if nothing ever happened. So, Rax is still in the lead. Aiden must have gone down. That is too big of a gap just from a small little mistake. So, Aiden giving up a little bit of time there, getting sketchy in the whoops as well. I've noticed this whoop section catching a lot of riders out today. It seems all good, and then you'll hit a whoop halfway through them, and it'll kick the back end out, and you just have to hold on for dear life. A three-way battle going on here for the P5 position. Keegan is in fifth, Wash is in P6, and Panda is in P7. Uh, Skills still sit sitting back here. Is he... It's fine, he's on the Yamaha. I don't know why I was looking for a Fantic colour for some reason. He's, uh, he's actually in P8. Chicken is back in P9. They're having a good little battle here with Troy. This is not something I thought I'd ever get to commentate over. Is a chicken versus Troy Jan battle live on stream. We love to see it. Nice to see Troy stick into the Suzuki as well. He seems to be a banana enjoyer. Don't take that out of context. And going back to the lead, Rax is in P number one. Nice comfortable lead now, actually, after Aiden's mistakes. He's got a 7.8 second lead overall. Aiden now has a Wild Jackson breathing down his neck very heavily. And I'm not sure what's happened recently, but there seems to be a massive increase in Yamaha's. I'm not sure if uh, someone made a video saying, is this a new meta bike? That's happened a few times in this game. But they seem to be enjoying it. Maybe uh, since skills have switched to it and he does tend to get most of the fastest qualifying laps, maybe people have changed. No idea. Yeah, I think a lot of the names on people, like team names and stuff, are outdated. Some people were saying to me earlier. Uh, but I, personally, I've tried the Yamaha. I've tried it indoors. I've tried it outdoors. And it is a genuinely really, really solid option. 
I enjoy it in both. I never feel like I'm particularly fast on it, but it's a nice consistent bike if you're looking for something a bit different to the usual KTMs. So we'll check in on those battles later. Uh, it looks like out in front right now, Rax has claimed his first victim, it's old Coskates. Getting lapped first, somebody has to do it, so give him his little uh, bit of stream time as well. Dad shoes fourth, Ryder, no, Keegan in fifth of Ryder Racing. Wash is in sixth, battling with skills. Let's actually try and watch this, watch this little battle going on here. Wash hitting the big boy line as well, hitting the quad in the middle of the rhythm section. His skills going to go up the inside of him, Wash jumps to the left to try and hold it. Skills manages to get the inside right, oh, he whips into the side of him. Probably not the smartest idea to hit a big scrub when there's someone directly beside you, but hey, they both survived. Wash probably won't be too, too happy with that mistake. But he is racing at the end of the day. Uh, Panda, unfortunately, crashing at the end of the whoops. He is sat in, I think that's going to be P8 now. I think these two in front of him do have some cuts, but uh, that looks like a little bit too big of a gap. That uh, chicken is sat in P9. Troy Jan is there in P10. Rido right on his booty cheeks in P11 as well. Uh, the current NA points leader is, if we can find him, where is he? That man right there, Mr. Skills of Valor and High School Musical. It's not High School Musical. High Society Motorsports. I don't, know, I don't know why HSM just sounds so good as High School Musical instead. And he's, uh, he is barking around the virtual dirt course right now. It'll be interesting to see how far he can come back because he's 18 seconds behind the lead right now with 11 and a half minutes left to go. That's not an inconceivable amount of time. I'm very interested to see if that crash that just happened was uh, the lapper's fault or if Jackson just uh, got very unlucky. Uh, Jackson jumping to the right. I don't really think there was anything the lapper could have done there at all. I mean, he was off the track. Uh, Jackson just got a little bit sketchy and happened to uh, land on him. So just another race incident there. Nobody at fault, nobody to blame. Uh, who is benefiting from this, however, is your points leader. He's claiming up all these positions of people that are crashing. Uh, so he was down, not atrocious at the start, but not in a good position by any means. He is now all the way back up into P5, which is still some very, very solid points. And he is uh, sniffing on the doorstep of a P4. Dad shoes is right in his sights. Let's have a little uh, float over in this direction. Try and find Mr. Rex out in front. Being a very, very consistent commentator's curse. I won't watch you anymore, Rex. I do apologise. He's lapping more people now. Lapping Grey and Dirty N. Uh, Aiden's still holding down a solid P2. Keegan is catching him, though. be very interesting to see uh, if, if Keegan can catch all the way up and take over for that number two spot. This would actually be very big for Keegan right now in terms of points getting zero points last week for whatever reason I don't know if it was a mechanical or if he didn't show up no clue however he is currently 10 points behind skills and uh, Keegan in third right now skills in fifth that would be a good couple of points uh, we'll see how it ends skills actually making a mistake and falling behind some more riders falling behind washed and Jackson together skills now finds himself back in about p7 there after timing updates itself uh, have we got any good battles going on towards the back of the pack there's Troy, he's chilling, he's lurking in P10, Ryder in P11, Chase in P12, EJ in P13. So these riders, they are all got a little bit of a gap between each other. There's no real bar banging going on, but I'll give Reese his love on stream as well. He's sat in about P15, P16-ish right now. There's a lot of cuts coming into play. Shout out PZ, hitting the big Linda line, jumping through there, love to see it. I probably shouldn't claim it as my own, because I'm sure everybody else had the same idea as me, but I feel like I've done it first, so it's the Linda line. Oh, Dirty and getting a little bit sketchy, so is Grey. Uh, it looks like Rax has actually started making some mistakes. That is nowhere near as big of a gap as it was earlier. So he now has eight seconds over Aiden, who's made a mistake in the end of that rhythm as well. Keegan is going to get past, and Keegan's going to take over the number two spot, which is very, very important for his championship title hopes right now. Gaining some more spots on skills, our points leader, who is still having his issues back here. Now, I've been out of the loop a little bit in terms of NA, but... Last year, nobody had anything for him. He was a good second, sometimes two seconds lap quicker than anybody else on the virtual dirt course. Maybe everyone's caught up. Maybe he's uh, not been playing the game quite as much and he's just lost that little magic touch. But, oh, how has he held on to that? That is something that he does better than anybody else in the game. He's somehow trying yeah. to uh, survive these crashes. Thank you very, very much, Doomslayer, for the 20 Great British Pounds. I very much appreciate that. Big W's from you, sir. We've had some very, very good racing today. Yeah, I think it's just because this track, I don't know, there's just something different about it. You have to just be that little bit more tentative because of how slippery the traction is. And I think it stops people from just trying to send really unrealistic lines or just hitting every corner wide open. 
you can still hit corners pretty damn quick. I mean, as you guys can see, there is a nice rut that's built up around the entirety of the outside of this corner. And realistically, you're never going to slow up and take the inside or middle. The outside will be king. If I uh, go down into the ground right here, you can see just how rough and just how choppy it is on the exit. So you do still have to be quite precise, and it's very easy to get kicked over the handlebars if you don't take off the next jump correctly enough. So, go back up to the front. Rax has lost even more time to the leaders. I wonder if he's got a little bit of a choke in him, or if he'll be able to hold that six, almost seven second gap for the rest of the race. Keegan, however, smells blood. He's going to try and make him nervous. He's going to try and push as hard as he can. Aiden taking inside of the inside. Very interesting line there. We have then got Jackson sitting in P4. Seals up to P5. I do not see a Dad Shoes. Has Dad Shoes hit the choke button? He has indeed. Dad Shoes was sat in four for a very, very long time. He's now sat back in P8, number eight, battling with Panda right there. Very unfortunate for him. He's had a good race going. Troy, he's still doing Troy things. He's, alone. he's in a little bit of a lonely P10 right now. He's got four-ish seconds behind him, like back to Ryder. And then he's got 13 seconds in front of him to Panda. So a very, very lonely P10. For everyone's favourite YouTuber right now. Well, we got Rax is losing even more time, but Keegan made a mistake between the last uh, last checkpoint and this one. He either went down or he ruined that rhythm section because Aiden is now back up into P2. I think he'll be a little bit upset if he ends up P3. I don't think he'll mind a P2 at all. Of course, he'd be even more ecstatic with a win. But I feel like he, he knows that he could have won this race, even if he doesn't. If he gets P2 or P3, there'll be something in him. Uh, skills, however... I'm not sure what's happened to Washed and what's happened to Jackson. Skills has passed both of them and absolutely disappeared. That was a lapper. Don't worry about it. Uh, he is gone. He's up into P4 again now. So he's one position behind Keegan. So even if things finish as they are right now, that is simply a two-point swing. I think it's only two points. can't remember off the top of my head. It might be a one-point swing. Only two points, though. You love to see it. Question is... Is he going to be able to catch up? Because Keegan is only just there, and Aiden's gone down as well. Oh, this could get spicy towards the back end of this race, boys. Skills swings all the way around the outside of Aiden. Had loads of momentum from the outside that corner. Is Skills going to be able to come all the way back? And somehow, first of all, he's going to keep the points lead regardless. Unless something drastic happens. Is he going to be able to extend his lead even further by overtaking and beating Keegan? That is the question. Uh, the person who is benefiting from all these mistakes, of course, that man right there. Rex is sitting in P1. He's, uh, I, I, my animations might just be broken again. It says he's standing up absolutely anywhere. I'm not sure if he is. Oh no, he's sat down there. Okay, he's just channeling his inner fin. He is standing up everywhere. Even these flat corners. I could never. If I'd done that, the front end would say hell no. Uh, Washington, uh, old Jackson here. They have been having one hell of a battle throughout the course of this race. Every time I come back to them, regardless on what positions they're in on the track, whether they're battling for third, battling for fifth, battling for seventh, they have been right on top of each other. The entire time. Jackson getting a little bit sketchy. What has just happened there? It's almost like he just let off the throttle for a second. I'm guessing he was just... What? That's almost like a controller disconnect. That was very, very strange. I have no idea what was going on there. Oh, chicken jumping off the track. No, he's fine. He's back on. He's going. There we go. Dad Shoes sitting back here in P9 with Troy still in a P10. However... Troy has made some progress. He has a wild dad shoes. Only one and a half seconds in front of him right now. That's going to be an interesting battle to go back to. Rex still happily checked out in front. Uh, what's he got? 11 seconds now over Keegan. Skills also only 11 seconds behind. There could be cuts coming into play here. Although Aiden is in front of him. I hate the cut system on this game. I wish it was. I wish times updated more frequently than they did. It would make commentating a hell of a lot easier. But you love to see the old boy sticking it to the the new one. Very, very good battles going on here. Oh, Skills is right up his cheeks. Who's got to get the best drive through the whoops? That Suzuki suspension. I've been watching the Discord uh, the Discord streams. Aiden has got that suspension dialed. Low line. Oh, he's going to run him. He's going to run him wide. They both whip doolies. Sorry, Kellen. Had to steal it. Not trademarked. Here we go. Step off. Triple. Aiden's got the inside in the corner. His skill's going to try and tuck underneath. He does exactly that. Aiden's going to have the inside in the next corner. God, my camera work is absolutely dog dog shizzle. Can't say that word. I'm going to get demonetized. And Skills manages to uh, claim the P3 spot for now. So they've got eight. Um, uh, Keegan, the, the track goes track goes that way, buddy. Uh, so Keegan is now for anyway's P2 spot. Skills has somehow come from a very, very long way down. Is Keegan going to take him high? Well, he runs into the back of him. I don't know if that was intentional or not. I'm getting all my buttons wrong. 
This is a great free rider battle for P2 right here. We've got three minutes plus a lap left to go in this main event. And it's still all to play for. I think the lead might be uh, might be done. I think Rex, unless something very, very drastic happens, if he gets into the back of some lappers, if he gets some Poboso physics happening, I'm pretty sure he's safe right now for that P1. However, this P2 is definitely on the cards for all three of these. What are the cuts looking like? So Skills has one second more than Aiden, and I think Keegan has a second more than the both of them. So I believe Skills has one second of cuts and Keegan has two. So realistically, if Keegan finished second, Skills finished third and Aiden finished fourth, if they was all close enough together, Aiden could still finish in second place once cuts come into play. But you love to see it. Very, very good racing. I mean, we've got battles all over the place still. Uh, Wash and Jackson aren't even that far apart anymore. Uh, Pandas had a very good comeback ride. I think he was down a little bit at the start. He's worked his way back through. Chicken, just solid, smooth, consistent, sitting in P8 right now. Uh, Troy and Dad Shoes seem to still be going at it back here. Troy has made the move. Dad Shoes making one or two more mistakes, allowing Troy to get up into a P9, which you love to see from him. I have no idea what Troy's best result of the season is so far, but that seems pretty damn good. That is a result that he can be proud of. That is, a, that is an easy 15k view on, views on the old YouTube right there. Uh, Ryder, he's making his way back up as well. He's sat in P11. Marco is in P12 after having to come through the LCQ, which you can't be too unhappy with. He's quite a long way back, though. There's about 20 seconds between Ryder in P11 and Marco in P12. Uh, we've then got Reese sat back in P14, who is actually next on the list to be lapped by the looks of it. Where is our race leader? There he is. Old Mr. Rax. Old Phil's X NGS. No idea what NGS stands for. Um, nearly got salmon. Uh, skills is in P number two. Only eight or oh, more than eight seconds behind now. Now, Keegan has indeed taken over that P2 spot. Aiden is down horrendous by looks of it. I have no idea what's happened to him. He has dropped back a hell of a lot of time. If he hadn't made the mistakes, he could have capitalised and been back up into the number three spot. But he's in fourth right now. We've got Panda in uh, P5 or so. There's a lot of cuts coming into play. Because it's actually showing washed up in P, uh, P4. Let's have a look. So we've got Keegan here in P2. We've then got Skills in P3. Washed is in P4. He's making a bit of a late race charge. Uh, Keegan doing a little bit of a uh, hunt, his best Hunter Lawrence impression there. Missing out an entire section. He'll probably get penalised for that. There will be a lot of cuts coming into play there. We've got Skills made his way back up into P2 now. Uh, Keegan is in P3. Wash is in P4. If you were to ask me what position Wash was going to finish in this race about halfway through, I would not have said that he had a chance of getting a P2. That was actually a nuts comeback. Aiden in P5. He's going to be a little bit disappointed if that's where he finishes because he had a real good chance of even potentially getting a win in this race. Uh, I thought that was our race leader for a second. That is not. That is Mr. Gray. Our race leader is all the way over here. No, he's not. Where is our race leader? Where's he gone? Crack, come back. Here he is. Still, there's no way he's still quadding that. No, he's not. He's tripling. Okay. Jesus Christ, I was getting a little bit scared then. Right, so, Rax is in the lead. He has got one lap to go once he completes this lap. He has got a very, very comfortable lead. He has got 11 seconds over skills in P2. Keegan is in P3 just behind him, although Keegan does have a second or so more cuts. Washed is in P4. Seems like people are having a little bit of trouble in some of these ruts now. I know that inside one is particularly tricky with dragging the handlebars. Uh, Aiden is in P5, and then Panda is in P6, who could even... I don't know, if, if some of these boys in front of him make a mistake, Panda could even get up there into like a P4 or so. Uh, Troy is sitting in P8 now. He's made another pass. I'm not sure who it was, but he's sat in P8. Love to see that. Uh, Chicken is sat in P7. Looking at timing, there doesn't seem to be too much in the way of battles going on right now. So I'm just going to sit here. We're going to watch Rex on this last lap. We're not going to watch Rex. I'm sorry, Rex. You've been in the lead the entire time. Let's watch see if there's any last last lap battles going on. So Skills has got a tiny little gap over Keegan right here. PZ is a lapper, so he won't come into play. Aiden has made the pass on Washed. He's back up into P4. And then Panda's right here as well. So Panda could capitalise if there's any more mistakes coming out. Or I did see Wash just go through that bell right there. There could be cuts coming into play. This will be very, very interesting to see what happens on this last lap. Just, gonna, just trying to spot check across the map, make sure that everything is uh, all going as it should do. We've still got Rex out in front. Yes. Aiden has just... He's in third still. No, he's in fourth. Skills wheeling through in second. Keegan in third. Got Aiden in fourth. Wash is right there. He's right on his cheeks. Kind of watch, want to watch a little bit of everything. Keegan is just full send right now, trying to get skills at the very end. Don't think he's going to get it, though. 
Aiden and Washed very, very close. Rex has crossed the line. He has got the dub ski. A very convincing win. Very easy win. Skills in P2. Keegan in P3. Skills will extend his points lead by two more points. Uh, Aiden made a mistake. We didn't get to see it. Washed has crossed the line in P4. Aiden in P5. And Panda in P6. I want to hit just a cheeky little rewind real quick to see what happened there. Oh, Aiden just Aiden threw it away. Going into the sound. Yep, got there's a little square edge bump right here. He's got his front end on it, and it tucked. Very unfortunate for Aiden there. So, I mean, we haven't got a rush at all. Chickens cross the line in P7. Then there's a big old bug gap to the boy, Mr. Troy January. He's done it. Troy got P8. Love to see it. Ryder is going to cross the line eventually in P9 as well. There's Ryder all the way up there. Having a little last lap battle with Brax as well. Brax going full send. Panda was indeed barking. Panda had a great comeback there at the end. So Ryder crosses the line in front of Brax. Brax had like seven seconds of cuts. Uh, Dad Shoes is going to be in P10 with uh, Reese actually barely missing out on P11. Brax had that many cuts. Uh, Dad Shoes yeah, knocked Brax out of position there. So there you go, your top 10 rundown. Rax in P1, led basically from flag to flag. Seals finished in second, extended his points lead by another two points, which takes the total up to a 12-point lead, I believe. Keegan finished in P3, washed a good comeback to P4. Aiden, a little bit of a disappointing P5 for him, but a top five on any day against these guys you've got to be happy with. Uh, Panda had a really good end of the race as well, finishing in P6. Uh, Chicken, so Channeling is in a diesel there, little P7. Troy's got to be happy with a P8. Rider of Rider Racing, of the racing team of Rider, of RD Factory Racing, of Rider Racing, of Prime Chain Rider Racing, got P9. Dadshu's in 10th. Rex 11th. Reese 12th. EJ 13th. PZ in 14th. Jackson in 15th. Did not see what happened to Jackson. He was up there in P3 for a very long time, so he'll be very upset with that. Maybe he had a lap not count, something like that. Uh, Austin in P16. Dirty N in P17. Gray in P18. Marco in P19, Coscates in 20th, and then we've got some retirees towards the back as well with Chase and Splash rounding out 21st and 22nd position. So boys, I hope you appreciated the stream today. I Again, a last minute thing, I apologise if it was a little bit rusty. I think we've had some very, very fun, enjoyable racing today. I'll try and work on my camera skills if it ever happens again. So thank you for tuning in. If you raced today, hope it all went well, and I'll catch you guys on the next stream. Good night.